This is a video response to a commentary made by Rand Paul, Senator from, from Kentucky, on April 14, 2011. He was discussing the recent uh, budget agreement between the Democrats and the Republicans, which was so difficult to reach and which was uh, considered to be controversial. He pointed out, he, he basically spoke in a way which is just pure reason and absolute sense and wished that everyone else was like him. I think that uh, overall Rand Paul is, is the best senator in the United States Senate by far. He's the most pro-freedom, the most pro-libertarian guy we have. But I also think it's worth noting that he did not speak up in favor of getting rid of Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. He did not speak up in favor of getting rid of... Uh, unemployment insurance and welfare and other forms of government charity. He did not speak up in favor of getting rid of uh, public schools and public roads. I don't think he ever really advocates this kind of stuff, at least not in public, so it's hard to see him as being an advocate of economic freedom. And when it comes to um, such things as getting rid of uh, prostitution laws and drug laws and gambling laws and broadcast obscenity laws, uh, Senator Paul does not speak up in favor of that either, so it's hard to see him as an advocate of social freedom and personal freedom either. Uh, basically, I, I think that uh, he's he's the best senator we've got, but um, the, the point is he's not really a champion of uh, laissez-faire capitalism and libertarianism and pure freedom for all. He's not an advocate of the rights of man, at least not publicly. So uh, I support him to an extent, but uh, I, I have to note that uh, he's... Uh, he has some liabilities as well.